today's video is going to be super awesome. I'm going to show you some ways that you can add some curb appeal to your home without spending a lot of money. Not only are we going to talk about it, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to my house. I got Jason over here who's planning to help me and I, of course I picked the hottest day of the year to do this. But we have a special event coming up and I want to make sure that everything looks super nice out here. So instead of just talking about it, let's just get right into it and I'll show you what we're going to do. One of the first things I suggest is driving around your own neighborhood. Look at different homes that you like and see what they have and those are definitely some ideas that you can get for your own home. Then come back and start taking a look at your own home. Look at it and see what are some things that you could be doing different to really spruce it up. Here I have my rock. I can tell right off the bat we need new rock. This was put here several years ago and a lot of this has just started to waste away. My rose bushes are looking pretty good this year, so I'm kind of happy about that. But down here on the other end, I have a lot of weeds that need to be done, like pulled out. You could really spruce it up. My ferns this year are doing so amazing. Oh my goodness, we've had a lot of really hot, warm weather, and it's doing great. But now here, I have two dead plants. We're going to address that. That's not good for curb appeal. And I do not like how this lavender grew in back here. It just looks like a hot mess and it doesn't look very enjoyable. And right there, I also need to plant something. And then over here, um, I have this tree that definitely, definitely needs to be trimmed up. It could look so much better. It's definitely an eyesore when you're looking at the house. These are all ways of things that you can do to just start to get an idea of what does your house need? What can you do differently to make it look better? All right, let's kick this off with Jason making this, he likes to call this the lollipop bush because by the time he gets done trimming it, it's all round and he always thinks that it looks like a lollipop. So we're gonna start this off with a nice little time lapse of Jason making this bush look so much better. Now would be a great time to hit that like button if you're enjoying the video. And if you haven't already, follow us over on Instagram for a lot more behind the scenes in real life. Something that I was not blessed with was a green thumb. So instead of having a bunch of plants out front for curb appeal, I just try to keep my space nice and cleaned up and that can really add value to your home. I'm gonna go sit. I was gonna say, go sit for a second. Bending over, not my friend. Nope, I know. We got one summer, so let's make it count. You make me feel like everything's alright. Let's dance our problems away. Jason started the truck and is backing it in, and both the dogs started running and had to get in the truck because they think we're going somewhere. <laughs> I can't back a trailer to save my life. Luckily, Jason still can. In here. Do you have two puppies in there with you? I do. I know, they don't want to get out. They, I was like, they think we're going camping. Did you go on an adventure? Grandma, you're going to have to get her out of the other door because she keeps running away from me. Oh my goodness. She jumped to the back seat, then she jumped to the other side. In the front or the back? Did you find a snack? Did you find a snack? You are crazy, dog. 
I might bottom You one. thought you needed my muscles, because everyone knows how strong I am. I have to just shovel off here until I... We're, we're going to have to go back. You got a mouse in your pocket? Well, I'm going to bend down and do this over okay. here. Wait a minute. I don't like that there's a couple leaves in here. I'm covering those up in two seconds. I know, but I don't want them to be underneath. Get out of the way. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go put some boots on. <laughs> Dropped a rock on my toe. <laughs> not good, not good. How do you feel about this uh, curb appeal we're adding on 95 degree weather day? What's the real feel? I don't know. I'll have to look. It's hot as Hades. <laughs> but don't you think this curb appeal is going to look good? Yes. Yes. Once we get this rock all in, we can get it all washed up. It'll look so pretty. Okay, Jason had to go and get a new shirt. He actually goes through four shirts this day from sweating so much. Okay, so since painting is not in the cards for us right now, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna fix the trim piece that looks really bad. And so then that way, let me show it to you. So that way it's not like the first thing you see when you pull up to the house and it looks a little better in the meantime until we're able to paint. I feel scared. <gasps> Sit down. Now it's dirty going in. the best but that does look better what maybe once it dries hopefully it'll blend in a little bit better but now at least it's not the first thing that I see when I pull up to the house I decided to get one of these buckets to keep my hose in to make it look nicer out here. I've been wanting something for so long. 
We'll see if this makes us look a little nicer out here. <laughs> Okay, so I bought some flowers for in here and then we have worked all day. I know to you guys this video was super fast, but it has been super hot. The real feel outside was 102. And so I'm gonna step away after I plant these and then come back out with like fresh eyes in the morning and take a look around the house and just see if there's anything else that I could do to just give it a little extra spruce up without spending any more money. So let's get these planted real quick. All right, I'm gonna leave this like it is right now. I'm gonna step away. I'm gonna go take a shower, look at my hands. And then we'll come back out here, like I said earlier, in the morning and just start to look this over. I'll get a pot for that to make that look better. Go dig around in my shed and see what I got. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it's the next morning. I came back out here to kind of look and see how things are looking. Um, I noticed a lot of cobwebs. And so I'm gonna go around and just kind of get all those out of the way. Although I should save those for Halloween, but that's a little weird. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, oh, there's some gnarly looking spiders in there too. <laughs> this past spring, I did have my windows cleaned out here. That's a great way for curb appeal. Uh, so I don't need to do them again right now, but that is something to keep on your list for adding curb appeal. Okay, I think we're looking much better out here. This new rock looks so good. I'm gonna have to wash it several times to continue to get it clean, but it looks so much better. I still need to get a little pot for my flowers and then come back in two weeks and I'll show you how I'm gonna decorate this front porch because I'm leaving it blank right now because I'm getting ready to host a baby shower and it has some stuff I'm doing out here. I also hate this hose. I got a different one. I just haven't got it out yet. It's so big and tight, it's hard to fit down in there. So I got one of those elastic ones but I think this looks so much better. The little bunny grass down here is doing well. So that is nice. And then also, I think it looks so much better not having all of that junk in here because when you sit here, I don't like all that stuff sitting there. And then of course these flowers will look much better when they grow in and relax a little bit. But I just like this house just like cleaned up. This definitely still needs to be painted, like for real, but it doesn't quite catch your eye as bad as it did. I thought it'd be fun to show you. This is what our house looked like before we did our really big changes, and then this is what it looked like after. Several years ago, we took off this sculpting that was up there and we decided to replace it with stone. We are so happy we did. And then also, on top of that, we added in these columns and so this kind of gave our house a little bit more of a craftsman style look and then a great way to always update things is by adding a new garage door and we also painted our front door and those were the quick easy things that we did to add ultimate curb appeal. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you in the next one.